NJ the Elephant 26 and to start out this video I'd like to wish all you guys a happy April Fool's Day. I hope you guys pulled a whole bunch of pranks on all your family, friends, and whatever. Anyways, today Rim released the new app world which you guys can see right over here for all versions of the Blackberry. So I'm gonna go show you guys take you guys on a quick demo tour of what that's like and my first hand experience of it. So let's open it up. Just wait for it to load. You can see it has 14 featured items here, which is when you can scroll through them either by clicking the arrows or just swiping your finger. On the first day, there was about 200 apps, some of which you've seen on probably the Crackberry website from regular Blackberry developers and some from third-party ones. So I found that the easiest way to look through the new apps is by clicking over here and going to Categories. You guys can see we have games. We have 116 games already, 19, game, 19 applications for entertainment. We have four applications for maps and navigation. Then there's music and video, news, weather, social networking, and basically every kind of category you would find on the iPhone App Store. Some apps on AppWorld are free, and others cost a little bit of money. The most expensive I've seen so far is the mobile remote desktop, which was $20, which is understandable because that's a pretty sophisticated application. But anyway, in order to pay for an uh, app on AppWorld, as opposed to an app on the App Store with your iTunes account, you use your own PayPal account, which is a really good idea that Rim had because, as we all know, PayPal is the safest and easiest way to pay for anything besides well obviously using an app obviously using your iTunes account it's still a very good choice of ways to pay for the app so a couple things about it you can see the top downloads of the day if you click right over here you see there's a level Bloomberg radio which you guys will see if you have an iPhone Vigo for the Blackberry, Trapster, Vegas Pool, Shark Light, you'll also see that on the App Store for the iPhone. Speed Test, Calorie Count, Nutrition, GPS Tracker, Slacker Radio, Par 72 Golf, you'll see that on the App Store as well. Facebook, Flycast, iHeart Radio, which apparently is a very good uh, internet radio, it's rated 4.5 stars. Weatherbug, Google Quick Search, World Mate. Live, Yellow Pages, Wallet, Wear, MySpace, I took this on my iPhone, and a whole bunch of other applications. In order to view the applications that you've already downloaded, you go over to My World, which is represented by this icon right over here. Blackberry logo and a human, so just click on that. You guys can see over here that I have downloaded AIM, the Hockey News Mobile, and Bloomberg Radio. Excuse me, not Bloomberg Radio, Bloomberg Stocks. Um, when I first installed Bloomberg Stocks, I realized that it didn't actually take up the whole screen and wasn't very storm compatible, so I uninstalled that. However, the Hockey News mobile application, which was released a little bit later today, um, I actually really like. So let me go show that to you guys. Let's go over to Applications. Click on the Hockey News. Just wait for it to load up. You guys can see it has all the news right over here. It has THN.com blog. It has scores and schedule, team standings, player stats. And it's just a fully functional sort of NHL.com or Hockey News website. And it works really well with the storm. Clicking and everything works. And it's fully compatible. Some cons about the app world that I hope that Rim can improve on is it would be really nice since the storm and all the other Blackberries have different kind of interfaces because as you guys know the storm is a touch screen so it's a little bit different for all applications mm -hmm. be nice if there is a different app world for each device so for instance the app world over here is the same one you'll find on the bold the curve or any the pearl or really any other blackberry so if they had one specifically for the storm it'd be a lot better because then i would be able to have all of my apps be compatible with my phone Unfortunately, I'll have to test that out for myself until it does an update, but still, I think it was a great idea that RIM came out with this app world, opened it up to developers. As of right now, I don't think it'll be a huge competitor to Apple, but once they start getting some really 
cool new box out there. I think everyone will enjoy it a lot, and who knows, maybe the next iPhone killer. I don't know, but we'll wait and see. Anyways, guys, NJDelfan26 here with a quick demo of App World for the BlackBerry Storm. If you have any questions, leave a comment or drop me a line at njdevilfan26 at gmail.com. And for exclusive content, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash njdevilfan26. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.